Hey everyone, here's everything new in the final update of Fortnite Season 3. So thank god we are finally getting a season ending live event, so let's talk about that. So Megalodon is not playing around, and we'll also discover who the Wanderer actually is, which is very, very surprising. Uh, so hopping directly into it, Hypex said a mini event is now confirmed. We also got the elite mini map as far as what it's going to look like. So here's a preview, and yes, we'll actually explain this. So we can definitely tell some explosions, we get the Pandora box at the far which right. Honestly, also looks like it's on fire. Uh, uh, but again, here's a more mini love event, uh, I guess, images early. So big shout out to PQ. And yes, the Pandora box is be the most essential thing that Megalodon is now searching for. All the pipes will have somehow end up getting destroyed and the Pandora box will now appear. Uh, all these nitro tanks and towers are going to explode during the mini live event. According to the Egyptian Fortnite leaker, he also notes this, this is actually classified as a real mini event and not, you know, something random that's going to be happening. He also notes it's not going to be as big as something like the Big Bang event or, of course, Collision, but rather something very small like the Chapter 1 mini events. So, yeah, it's still going to be pretty cool. Uh, also, the in-game timer is going to have some crazy sound effects, so here's also that. And I almost forgot to also have gameplay of the Pandora box and all that stuff, so here's also that. Okay, so very exciting news. We finally get some sort of actual love event to, you know, digest, to take in, to, to get us hype for the Fortnite Marvel season. And on top of that, talking about Marvel, a new uh, revelation because it's pretty crazy. So Dr. Doom is now supposedly the Wanderer. He's been the Wanderer this whole time, uh, which honestly kind of does make sense as we just got the Deadpool and Wolverine collaboration. Uh, Dr. Doom has now been announced for, you know, the future of Marvel. He is essentially the new Kang. Uh, but yeah, Magneto's dialogue now says, I, can I can't verify this Wanderer is who I think he is, but if it's him, if he's the one seizing the box's powers, uh, the place may be doomed. So yeah, major hit as far as, you know, Dr. Doom actually being the Wanderer. Uh, so it does actually line up pretty perfectly with, of course, the whole Marvel lore and moving forward into 2025 and 2026. And that is where Marvel is going to be heading in real life. Uh, so it does make sense that, well, Fortnite game will now follow this. You know, Fortnite and Marvel are like this, man. So, yeah, definitely does make sense. Um, along with that, we got a bunch of brand new skins today and two collaborations, which is very surprising. Uh, so potential item shop release dates, Dragon Ball, August 10th to the 11th, which, by the way, here's the new characters in the back of video. We have these two women who have absolutely giant numbers foreheads. I have no idea who these are i really need to get uh my whole dragon ball lore going on and watch it that's probably my next anime to actually watch so leave some recommendations down below as far as what to look forward to um x-men august 12th the 13th they also got their own brand new styles and of course like just brand new skins overall i'm almost positive these are brand new skins uh, Reload Squads will, will come back on August 12th to the 13th, and Star Wars, August 14th to the 15th, which honestly, I'm not quite sure if most people are going to be excited about Star Wars anymore at this point. Uh, kind of like an older collaboration, which is pretty crazy to say because Star Wars is so big. Uh, but with that being said, guys, there's also a bunch of gameplay of, of course, the skins themselves for today. Uh, so big shout out to Shooter for Lummies' gameplay, but here's that in the background video.
Okay, so obviously his coat is plastered everywhere. You know, feel free to use that, support the leakers. But at the same time, if you want to start the channel, use code HAPPY instead. Uh, with that being said, another Fortnite leak. So, Chapter 5, Season 4, aka the Marvel Season, so far will only have four brand new updates. 31.10, 31.20... 31.30 and 31.40 so it might be a shorter season we're not quite sure which would make sense because marvel right or just say right after marvel we're going directly into fortnite chapter 2 og so the chapter 2 island will be coming back and marvel is going to be the headlining before that so it does somewhat make sense that it might be a smaller season uh but we'll have to simply wait and see uh about fortnite reload by the way unvaulting of the rapid fire smg burst assault rifle and the lever action rifle they have now vaulted the singer smg infantry rifle and the heavy assault rifle so you know in case you guys still play fortnite reload which i feel like the majority of players honestly only play that this season that is for you guys don't forget they're also working on fortnite reload trios and a few other things that are coming soon uh honestly i should say a lot of stuff coming soon they're actually involving a lot of weapons that used to be a part of chapter one through chapter three i think uh don't correct me on that one but i'm pretty sure that's what it was now we also got our first look at fall guys x fortnite so here's some gameplay of that in the back video along with that a bunch of screenshots let you guys uh, digest all that stuff in looks absolutely fantastic and finally speaking guys we were looking forward to seeing you know Jujutsu Kaisen Wave 2 we did not get any sort of leaks about that along with that of course Five Nights at Freddy's you know what came of Five Nights at Freddy's well the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's has now announced that essentially they're collaborating with not Fortnite but rather Dead by Daylight so not even Stumble Guy. which honestly I was kind of surprised about that but Dead by Daylight is the only collaboration that Five Nights at Freddy's is now going with during 2025 uh, so pretty sad to see that Fortnite game is not going to be a part of this but it is what it is uh, with that being said though my friends that's all for today's fortnite video that was pretty much the entire update so let me know what you guys think down below what is your favorite and i will see you guys in the next upcoming video